the first thing we need to do to set up Live Tracker is install it. Now, there's two ways to install it to get the download. The first is if you want to use the demo version, press start for free right here. Enter your info and you'll get a download link sent to you. You'll be able to download the demo. As it mentions here, you get all the features, um, but there's no video and you can only have five songs. No PDF manual download either, but if you want to try it out, it's going to be just fine. If you're going to buy a Live Tracker, just go to the shop page, add the V4 Windows or Mac to your cart, and then go to checkout. And you want to make sure you want to go in here and you want to enter your coupon here, David, David's LS. David Zealous, this will be below. This will get you 5% off uh, as a person who came from Learn Stage Lighting. So please do that because not only does it tell them that I came, that you came from my video, but also it allows me to get a small commission. So make sure to follow my link below. Use that coupon code as noticed. Okay. Uh, you check out and then you'll be able to find your way to the member area. And in the member area, you're able to go ahead and download your Mac or Windows version as needed. And then you're able to go. Now, when you install Live Tracker, it's pretty simple. Okay. So all you have to do is you go in and run the installer just like you would run any normal Windows or Mac installer. Okay. And then what it's going to do is it's going to install in your applications folder or in Windows here, that C program files live tracker for. Okay. What you do then, and this is in the user manual as well, is you take this live tracker for and you copy it and you put it on a brand new to you, you know, thumb drive, put it on a USB drive. Okay. You, you paste it right there and then you're able to go and run the program from there. And this is important. Um, the way they've designed this is that if you install it on a USB drive, like on a thumb drive type device, then when you unlock your software, it's going to be something that you can bring to any other computer. So I've got the Windows version. I can plug it into any PC, launch it, and it's going to work and be licensed, okay? If you do run it out of the program files, it will technically run, um, but you're not going to be able to switch it between multiple computers. And that's really bad because if something were to happen to your computer on a show day, what would you do? So you want to install it on that thumb drive. You just copy the folder over, as I mentioned, and then you'll always launch it from that USB drive uh, whenever you're at a show. So guard that with your life, just like any other software key. Once you've got it on that USB drive and you've launched it, you'll then go ahead and you can go copy your your ID to clipboard, uh, you'll go to the website. Within that user uh, area, there's an area to activate your software, okay? And once you activate that by, you put in your machine ID on the activate your license page here, I'll bring up the website here for us. With all of your info, your product, your computer ID, it will give you a download file of your key, your .key file. You then add this here, make sure you're again, launching this from the USB drive, and then you will be fully licensed. Okay. Now there's a second part of live tracker. Let me open my real live tracker off of my thumb drive. Where do we store the music by default and the preferred way of working is to keep all of your music and all your other assets, such as your video, etc., um, on the computer's regular hard drive. Okay. And so if you're backing this up to another computer, you just copy your folder over. And so what Live Tracker does by default, if I hit save preferences here, this is a backup of your preferences file. You'll see here that it is in the PC or Mac documents Live Tracker. Okay. This is the folder where it's keeping all of your assets. And so if you want to back this up to go to another computer, just copy this whole folder, this Live Tracker folder from documents. Okay copy it onto that thumb drive, at which point you can plug it into the next computer, copy all your files back into the documents folder. So in this case, it's, you know, C, C drive, the main drive on a PC, uh, documents, live tracker. Um, and you just copy it to the same place and it will open when you insert your drive into that other computer. Okay. 
um, and then you'll be synced. And if you need to sync back and forth, you can just copy those files over the next time you're working. Okay. Now, guys, we've hit all of the boring stuff here. Um, if you do need to change your language, you can do that here. But other than that, let's go ahead, close out here, and begin with our creating our first song in the next video. Thanks.